celebration of crafts, I have two simple crafts to share with you. For the first craft, we're going to be making a Chesapeake Bay blue crab. For this craft, you will need one paper plate and one piece of blue construction paper. I have already pre-marked this page, but it's very simple to do. All you need is a ruler, and you mark off four lines, one ruler width apart on your paper, and then you draw in one wavy line at the end. Blue crabs are unique among crabs in that they have a modified pair of fifth legs that are swimming legs for them. To make our swimming place on our blue crab. I used a simple lid and traced two circles and then drew a triangle in my circle in order to make the claws for my blue crab. The first step is to take your paper plate and to color the entire outside of it blue. You can use a marker for this purpose. I used crayon or if you're really ambitious you can even paint these. It will take a little while to dry. Once your paper plate is um, entirely colored blue, fold it in half so that the blue side is out. Make a little crease in that paper plate, just like this. I then take my strips which I cut out from my construction paper, fold it in half, Cut across the center so that I end up with two strips okay, for each strip of my paper until I have eight regular legs and one set of swimming legs. Each of my legs, I take a small piece of tape and I tape them down to the inside of the paper plates until I have all of my legs across my paper plate. Then to keep the two pieces of the paper plate together, I use a stapler and I put one staple in the center. And if that's not enough to keep your paper plates together, you can come in and put staples near the ends to help hold the two sides of the paper plates together until you end up with something that looks similar to this. After that, I used a little bit of stick glue, put a little dot on the paper plate, and glued two of these fun Google eyes to the front for my crab's eyes. If you don't have Google eyes at home, it's easy just to draw the eyes on with a Sharpie marker. And then I also drew on a little mouth for my blue crab. The next, the final step is to put your claws on your blue crab. You just cut out your circles that you made on your construction paper. Cut out the triangles so that your crab has open claws, just like that. And then you can either glue these to the outermost legs or you can just use a little piece of rolled tape to hold them in place just like that so that makes you a chesapeake bay blue crab with his swimming legs his claws and his other legs this crab that's more similar to the fiddler crabs that we have in the chesapeake bay this is a super simple project that only requires your hands and a couple of Google eyes and a couple of round circles to make his claws. So you'll want to have your child trace his hand. You may help them with this process. It is somewhat difficult to trace your own hand. So they'll trace their own hand on a piece of red or, or blue, if you would prefer, um, construction paper. Once they've gotten both of their hands traced onto the sheet, 
and you've also traced two circles for your claws. Just like in the previous craft, you'll put a little triangle to make open claws for that one also. You'll cut out both handprints. You overlap those two handprints so that the thumbs form a V. You tape them on the back so that they don't pull apart. You can then glue two Google eyes to the thumbs. And then you, after you cut out your circles for your claws, you can glue or tape those claws onto the first finger of each hand, and then you have a simple filler craft.